Kona palm weevil, popularly known as Akoknu, are harvested from fell palm trees that is cut down to extract sap to produce palm wine. This week, the Ghanaian farmer visits Kede to speak to the CEO of Isadol Agri Village to find out about his journey in the production of Akoknu, what inspired this agribusiness, how he comes by the insect that produce the Akoknu and many more. Get interactive on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, the Ghanaian farmer. Let's hear from you. Is this something you'd love to try your hands on? Is this something you'd want to explore? It is also consumed by humans. That is the most interesting part. Who are the ones who buys them? These and many more will I be asking Nana right after this commercial break. Stay tuned. I will be right back. Thanks for saying, if you're just tuning in, you're watching the Ghanaian farmer on Joy Prime Television. My name is Enyo Nam. When you see me in town, just call me Ghana's finest farmer. This week, we've traveled to Kede in the eastern region, and we are at Isodet Agri Village, here to chit chat with the CEO, Nanaba. He does a lot of things, from livestock to crops and many other things. But our first episode today from this farm village is focusing on Akoknu. That's how it's called in Ghana, or palm weevil. Let's get to know how he came by this agribusiness. What have you triggered it? Is there a market for it? These and many more are we going to be asking. Nana, Nana, thanks for joining me. Okay, welcome. And thanks for having us. Thank you. So, <laughs> how long have you been into farming? Well, I've been into farming for about seven years now. Seven years? Yes. Okay, what and what do we find in this village? Well, in um, uh, Isadar Agri Village, we are actually into crop farming. Okay. And we also do helicopter and then uh, production of rinkophoros. Okay. Yeah. So, mm. we also do food processing. Okay. So that's the main idea of our, um, let me say, our business. Okay, that's your business model. Yes, please. All right. So our focus is going to be on this one right behind, okay. in front of us. So the roof and the building you see behind us, there are a lot of things happening in there. <laughs> you're going to see a snail, you're going to see a kokunu. <laughs> you are likely to even see snake and many <laughs> other things. <laughs> so Nana, our focus today is on palm weevil. Okay. When we say palm weevil, what's the scientific name again? All right. Palm weevil is called Rincophorus finensis. Rincophorus finensis. If I bite my tongue, this is Nana. <laughs> Nana, when we mention Rincophorus finensis, what kind of insect are we referring to? Palm weevil. Okay. Yeah. All right. So before we even open this yeah. for our viewers to see, how do you go through the process of even getting the insect to bring it home and rear it? Okay. Um, before uh, I start, I'll give thanks to one of our professors. He is uh, Mr. Uh, Anankari. Okay. He is in the School of uh, Natural Science and Animal Research right. at Sunyani. Okay. I called him here because of this. He came to, you know, even with the community, we all gathered. Then they came to teach us the Akokunu production. Right. Because I called him that I want to venture into that business. And he was uh, an expert. Mm. So he came in to do that. So from there, I picked it up from there. And then it has become... A wonderful, a wonderful business to me. Venture. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, when we talk of um, palm weevil, mm -hmm. we are actually into we are we, in, in terms of the business we are we are looking at two sections. Okay. One is by breeding. We do breeding. Okay. Breeding is like we producing the palm weevils to other farmers who want to you know go into the business. Okay. Some also prefer to you know use to feed their po uh, poultry. Mm -hmm because of the pro uh, protein content. Mm. And then we also sell the lava itself mm. to big men. Okay. I mentioned big men because it's a uh, big man food. I see. Yes. All right. <laughs> so are there different between what you are breeding here yeah. and what other local farmers find from the palm tree directly? Okay. In terms of the insects and then the lava, uh -huh. it's the same. Okay. But in terms of feeding, uh -huh. it's different. Okay. It's different because when, let's say, you go for hunting, when you go to the tapas and then you go for hunting, mm. when you process it and then you, you consume it, mm. the taste will be different. Okay. When you buy from us and then you consume, the taste will be different due to the feeding. The feed you give yes. them. Yes. Okay. 
Now, when you bring it home, yeah. what process do you go through to have your live band? Okay. With the process, we combine a lot of things before you are able to uh, do, let me say, a setup. Okay. So we use, you can, you can use cassava, mm. the cassava, the, the cassava itself. Mm -hmm. You soak it for at least three days for it to become soft. Okay. You use sugar, the palm yolk, and we use, also, you can also use pito mash. Okay. As in their, their food. Right. <laughs> we feed them only once during their entire uh, production. Mm. So it's not any costive, um, let me say, uh, project that that like, needs a lot of capital. Yes, please. Okay. So with this one, with our setup, what we use, we use cocoa pit. Mm. We use cocoa pit and then the coconut husk okay. for the production. Right. So when we get the insects, uh -huh. when we started, before we started producing our own insects, we, we, we went to the palm, palm wine tapas. Mm -hmm. We get at least uh, five insects. We got male and female. Mm. So we, when we introduce them to the bowl, we have a way of introduce, uh, introducing them to the bowl. Mm. So... When we introduced them, they started laying eggs after four to five days. Mm -hmm. So when the eggs started, before we also started with our production. Okay. How many eggs do one female insect lay? Okay, with a female, the female can lay, in terms of the laying, the laying depends on their feeding. Okay. When you feed them more, they lay, they lay more. Mm. So an Average insect, lead. on an average, can lay like between 1,000 to 1,500 on an average. Average. Yes, thousand. Let me say thousand. That is after how many days of keeping and feeding them? You can get it today. If let's say you go to the tapers, you can get some today. Today to lay eggs. Today, today? Yes. Okay. So when these eggs are laid, how many days does it also take to transform into, into the, the larvae? Exactly. Okay. You know, when the, uh, the eggs are laid, it takes 21 days. Mm. 21 to 28 days. Then the eggs will hatch. Mm. So when it's hatch, mm -hmm. then just after hatching, meaning they are in their larvae stage. Mm -hmm. So you have to treat them so that they, they, they grow faster. Okay. Before, let's say if you want to do another breeding, mm -hmm. you wait for them to turn into pupa. With a pupin stage, you know, they don't eat. Mm. They, they, they form a cocoon. Mm. The cocoon is there, like using, let me say, the cocoa pit. They will form, let me say, a habitat, a home, okay. where you can't even see them. Mm. So they will be in their cocoon. Then the process, let me say, the adult stage will form okay. before they will get feathers. Then they will turn to the uh, weevil. Does any mortality occur during the stage of laying eggs and through the process of hatching? Okay. Or you get everything? Well, you don't get everything if you don't treat them well. Uh -huh. But if you treat them well, you get everything. Okay. It's like, um, let me say, if you give them the uh, uh, the necessary habitat they are supposed to get from let me say the natural way the natural state yeah yeah. Mm. yeah you get it correctly okay. without losing any okay so mm. when the eggs hatched what do you feed them with we don't feed them okay when the eggs hatch they feed on the um the coconut hatch the, no not the hatch like the let me say the materials we place in the bowl before introducing the mm. the, the mother or the insect mm. That's why we put the pito mash, mm -hmm. the palm yolk, they feed on the palm yolk okay. and sugar. Okay. So we sometimes, when we realize that the sugar is, is less or is getting finished, then we add extra sugar. Okay. How long does the baby um, larvae take to actually fully mature for sale? Oh, for sale. Uh -huh. Then from our side, you say two weeks after 14 days. 14 days after hatching. After hatching. It is ready for sale. Yes, please. Okay. How many times does the mother insect yeah. lays for you before it's tired or dies or anything? Okay, the mother insect can lay three times. Three times? Yes. Then it, the, the, the lifespan ends. Is it a year thing or a month thing? Oh, it's just uh, some few days. Few within, days? within three weeks, the three mother, weeks. yes. The mother it's like a mosquito. Okay, uh, lay, yes. lay, and then? Then it dies off. It dies off. Yes. Okay, all right. So when... It is fully mature within 14 days yes. and you are about to sell it. Do you sell in process stage or fresh stage? Okay, it depends on what uh, the person will, uh, will, will, will request for. Okay. So if you want us to process it, let's say in a kebab form, mm -hmm. you will do it and then send it to you. Okay. If you want it live, uh -huh. you, you, you will package it and send it to you. Okay. Yeah. Are there any difficulty associated with these kind of farming you're doing? Oh, you see, mostly this kind of business, uh -huh. you say it's for the pensioners. Right. 
because it's not difficult to establish okay. and it's, it's less uh, capital intensive. Mm. And with their maintenance, mm. or let me say their care, you don't need any special care mm. because after covering them, getting to know the process and covering them, mm. that's all. Okay. When you say less capital intensive, how much will I need to set up this business? Okay, then let's all do the calculation together. Yes. How much is lining? Uh, One yard is about um, five CD or so, five okay. CD to ten CDs. Okay. Um, the plastic bowl? The plastic bowl is okay. like, let's say, ten CDs. Right. Um, the the tie uh -huh. you can even use rubber band. Okay. Uh, the elastic. Let me see if it's two cities. Uh -huh. you, need, you you spend let me say twenty two cities. Uh, okay. Seventeen cities. So seventeen cities. Mm -hmm. If let's say you have a friend or a, a, a palm wine tapa. Yeah. Let's say even if you are not buying it for free, uh -huh. you buy one at let's say five cities. Do you buy for free? No. Did I give it to you for free? I, I do the search myself. I get it myself. You go and search for yes. it yourself. Okay. But in case I'm buying from the farmer, the rural farmer, how much do you think he will sell to you? Oh, some can even dash it to dash you. Dash it to me. Yes. Okay. All right. But if you are, if me, I don't mm -hmm. dash it. I okay. sell it. All right. Yes, it's a business. That, I know. I know you will sell. <laughs> I know you sell. All right. So the basic things are yeah. what you mentioned, yes. right? How about the feed? How do I come by them? That's what I'm saying that if you get, uh, you can use cassava. Okay. You can use um, the, uh, let me say, the palm yolk. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. If you see the palm one, it to you the feed. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Now, why do you have them house? So viewers, we will go inside. <laughs> Isaac will take us inside for you to see. It's a whole setup on its own. Uh, this one, come on, a fetish priest shrine. Because <laughs> everything is covered with the cloth. And I don't know if he's taking me to the shrine. Uh, no, Why no, do no. you house them? Okay, we house them because of the temperature. You know when what the... is the temperature for lava? Oh, okay. Normally they want uh, like you know a cold area, like hum humid areas. Yeah. Because in the palm, they boil through the the yolk yeah. and then go deep. Yeah. Meaning they don't want um, high temperature. Yeah. That's why we also brought that idea okay with the hand uh, because they, when the sun scorch yes. on them yes. they even die uh -huh. yes all right so they always have to be inside a yes. place they wear the shade yes please so they can have a very can, cold, a, temperature. A cold temperature okay we will make sure isaac <laughs> teach me how to do the, the processing the processing okay so that you will see for yourself perhaps you want to just have it at your backyard and be enjoying once in a while. Okay. A coconut versus chicken. Which one will you go for? I'll go for a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Isaac. Um, so far, so good. Business is doing well. But my next question would be, do you foresee this becoming big? Oh, you know, because I have the side, that's why I've created a special room for a this. A whole structure for this. Yeah. Because I'm seeing that Whoever I introduce the the, the, the business to, mm -hmm. they also get attracted to it. Okay. And my target is, uh, is the old age. Okay. Because you know our fathers, mm -hmm. when 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 they were farming, let me say our old farmers, yeah. you know, after retirement, they don't have anything doing. Okay. Hey, only they they will be depending on their children. Mm -hmm. But if they they have their own business, as in this one, mm -hmm. it also helps them to make income okay. without depending on anybody. Okay. So. Me too, I've taken upon myself, we go rounds and then we teach some of the local farmers okay. so that they can do it, the, the setup on their own. All right. Okay, yeah. so that's the CEO of Isodo Agri Village and he is a farmer. He is also somebody who has an agri background. I'm an so agronomist. He's yeah. an agronomist, yeah. so he knows what he is about. Mm -hmm. And if you're out there, you've been watching the Ghanaian farmer, you've heard a lot about uh, catfish, tilapia, goats, cow, poultry, you've heard about crops, sweet potato, all the noise I'm making on the channel. <laughs> Today, I've introduced you to a new business, which is palm weevil or akoklu farming. Less stressful, you know, the minimum capital ever to start with, but the marketing is very good. I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, Isaac will take me through how they go about the harvesting, the processing, and any other that tips he would share with you before we wrap up. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Thanks for saying, if you're just sitting here watching the Ghanaian farm on Joy Prime Television today, all this week we are all the way in Kede in the Eastern region and we find ourselves in Isadol Agri Village. They do a lot of things here. 
but our focus in this episode is on palm weevil rearing or akoku farming so what you are about to see now is how to set up your new uh, venture your new agri business and seated among us is um oredua yeah. ophelia right yeah. yes oredua ophelia she's doing her attachment with uh nana who is taking her through how to go about the whole thing so nana um i'm a new farmer okay and i want to set up my own akokunu business what do i need like you said we have the bowl okay we have the cloth and we have the elastic um there's the sugar here okay what do i do now when i have all these things and i see a coconut heart like yeah yeah okay so um before you set up the let me say you set up a bowl uh-huh for example if you're not having the weevil okay you know it's not difficult you can use the lava itself okay for the setup right because most of the times the, the uh, hunting the weevils is, difficult. is very difficult because they have wings yeah so, so they fly yes all right so mainly we use the um the larvae right for the setup okay so you have to get your uh, coconut husk okay. the, uh, the mashed ones mm -hmm. and then you get your sugar mm. the sugar serves as a stimulant okay uh, they feed on the sugar that's why they boil through the palm the palm yolk and yeah. then try uh, to see if it's yes okay. the, uh, so we have our um coconut husk here yes. or let me say the mash here yes now we also have our coconut husk you know with this one mm -hmm. you know it's, it's very dark in uh, inside it's dark yes okay so this is where the insects will lay eggs ah so when you bring the insects from the farm yes you keep them inside it you keep it in the bowl in the but bowl. it hides itself in the okay. coconut husk why so that, it wants a dark yeah it wants a dark place okay so this is where it will lay the eggs all right so when the eggs hatch mm -hmm. then they will all come out into the bowl to feed okay so you, you you introduce your husk into the bowl Sorry. yes how much is enough oh you know just small just small not okay. not that much okay. so that it wouldn't be choked and why mm. does the husk look wet is it not dry why oh at least you have to put um water okay. you have to put a sprinkle little you have to sprinkle water on it right. so that it becomes soft so, so I have my bowl and I have the husk. Yes. So you put um your coconut husk like this. Okay. Yeah. So before you introduce the um the larvae, uh -huh. you have to put sugar. Okay. So you take three spoons of um sugar. Then the white sugar. Your white Can sugar. Can I use brown sugar as well? You've not tried that one. Okay. Yes. So white sugar. White sugar. All right. Three tablespoons. Yes. Eh? Okay. Three tablespoons. Okay. So the moment the the insects will find out that uh, there is some sweet sweetness, uh, sweetness they stay. Hey, they stay for long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they stay okay. for long. That's why we use the sugar. All right, that's so fine. if you have the palm yolk, uh -huh. you can put it as well. Okay. Okay. So by doing it uh, this way, mm -hmm. you can take. You know, mostly if you use um, the larvae, it's difficult because you're not able to identify whether it's male or, or female. female. So it will because of that you have to put more mm -hmm. of the um the lava so you can put let's say 10 to 15 okay in one bowl in one bowl to do the setup, to do the setup. That is the, in the absence of the insect of the insect okay but if you're using the insect mm. you can get two females and then one male okay. in a bowl All right. so this time around they're not going to hide themselves mm. so we are just using this for the setup okay so from here uh -huh. if you are using the lava mm. meaning the, the lava are going to turn into cooking Yes. or maybe the pupa stage mm. uh, before they turn into the insects themselves so here we are preparing for the insects mm. so you take some of the um, in, uh, lava and put it in a bowl okay so you just introduce them okay so in this case if i introduce the lava instead of the uh, insect itself yeah. how many days would this take to develop the it takes 28 days okay before they develop into all right um the insects or okay. let me say the adults okay. so if it's to be the insects mm -hmm. after you introduce them to the bowl like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. you have to walk them through so that they will know that it's just a confined area right <laughs> so that they wouldn't even be fly, uh, flying away you get ah. it so you just have to introduce them then you put them in the uh, coconut house like this so they will know that there is a place for them to hide. Lay eggs. Yes, you do it about three times. Uh -huh. 
uh, then you cover it nicely. So before you do that, mm -hmm. you know, we cover it to prevent other insects laying eggs. Mm. If, it, if it happens that we, it will affect the, um, it will cause mortality, mm. uh, like there will be a competition. Mm. So you just cover it with a mosquito net like this. Then you put your um, lining or, or your cloth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Over it. Over it. So if you do it this way, there's mm -hmm. no way insect can a different insect can lay eggs into the bowl. Okay. Yes. Then you tie it with your elastic. It's very very simple. Okay. You don't have to spend like ten minutes with a setup. Okay. Mm. Why don't they breed? Oh, they breed. So I also I I also ask when they when they bought through the palm <laughs> how did they I know I know okay all right so oh there is air there is air passing through okay. yeah okay mm -hmm. because it's light mm. so we are so done with the it. setup so after twenty eight days yes when, when you open, I it, open it you get your cocoon with you get wings. your insect yes with wings yes please okay. So when I get the wings, the uh, the cocoon with the wings, yeah. does it mean I'm not going to go to another cycle? An another cycle to get the larvae uh -huh. before I can start selling. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. This is easy. <laughs> oh, it's right? very easy. Uh, in a day, do I keep watch on it? Do I? No, open? no, no. You just leave them since you know that. Ah, but dates, if they are dying, how would you know? They will not die unless you don't do it well. Okay. You don't have to be opening the bowl frequently. Why? Because you know, you know, uh, because of the air, uh -huh. maybe some insect can lay without you knowing. Oh. Uh. So you have to be extremely careful. Yes. Okay. All right. So basically, that's it. If you're home and you are interested in this, you want to set up this. Is, this is the easiest oh. and smoothest agribusiness I've ever seen. Some would say snail, but this beats snail. <laughs> it's true. This is the easiest you can do when it comes to setting up any form of farm um at a point do you remove this I to see. clean the bowl this i mean oh, no no we, we rather put them in a different bowl in a different bowl yes okay all right so what and what food can i prepare for no what and what food can i use the lava to make Is oh soup? you can use to prepare uh, this uh, local anguamo <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> anguamo uh -huh. because you know you don't need you know you don't need oil because it has oil already so you just put um, the you just kill the insect uh, the larvae. Uh -huh. You put it in the uh, the what was it? the pots. Okay. So you just you, you just stir it for some time. Then you see that the oil will come out. Really? Yes. Do I remove the head? I can see the head is oh if if dark. We, we we eat all. So if ah. if you don't like it, you can also take it off. And you told me it bites your fingers. It bites. Does it have teeth? Even even uh, foul foul they they can even. <laughs> I see. Uh, all right, this is another interesting day um, with Isidore Agri Village CEO. But he told me one of his workers would give us some small chama. They say you will try the fresh one, give us. So. <laughs> oh, you know, some people, some people also yeah. take it fresh, especially yeah. the, uh, let me say, those in uh, jungle, like, okay. hey, they, they take it fresh. But Isaac, how long has it been since you started this journey? That Come again. Was it the first one you started with? No, no, I told you, we started six months ago. Six months ago? Yeah. Um, so far, so good. How would you describe the experience? Well, with the experience, you know, uh, the idea was there already. Okay. And we didn't have uh, any challenge because mm -hmm. we knew we, 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 we got the market before starting. Oh, really? Yes. I see. Before we started, we posted them on social media. Okay. Of course, we were not even having. Right. So and when people were calling? People were calling. Even uh, one restaurant at home, hey. they, they want us to produce it in large quantities so that they'll be... Are you serious? Yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, sometimes we too, we are planning to do the uh, processing, night processing, right. as in how they sell the mm. Indomie and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you also mm -hmm. get a joint and then hey. you do the kebab. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Isaac, are you open for training and everything? Do you train people? We are into business. Okay, so you're open for training. Yes, please. How do we find you on social media? Social media. I'm on... I'm, Your handle. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on Facebook. If you what enter, name do we search? Nanaba. Nanaba. Yes. Then we'll find you. Yes, please. Okay. But is there a number you want to mention? Oh, yeah. My my, it's my number, I should mention. Oh, you just oh, added. No. Okay. You can mention. 
So it's zero five five zero two five six two one one. Zero five five zero two five. Six two one one. Please don't come and start calling your new number. I want another best number. He's mentioned his, <laughs> his number. Watch the entire video, get his number, and call him. He does training. He will supply you wherever it is you find yourself. Yeah. His thumb is open for visit. That structure you see, that will be going inside that. So you can see how green the place is looking. Very beautiful. You might assume it's a fetish free shrine, but no, <laughs> it's a business venture you are seeing inside there. Now, now, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. You're and welcome. lastly, what will be your message to the young people who are still saying, okay, uh, maybe the digging and weeding is too stressful. Okay. Is there any advice you want to share quickly? All right. Um, before I'll go to the, uh, the young people, yeah. I'll first uh, um, give like let's say encouragement to the grown up okay. uh, people, aged people the aged people okay. because they are very important mm. to our society mm. especially when we need history and stuff we go to the grown up yeah. people so without them uh, let's say depend on anyone mm. they can start this business okay. and even you know most of the times what people uh, like about us is that we find market for those who have trained from us mm. maybe yours is, is a, it's been abandoned you want to you know sell some out you rather come in for yours, we sell it for you. Okay. And then with my, you know, youthful, mm -hmm. uh, let me say, people, mm. what I would say is that don't just be out there, you know, looking for a government to employ you. You can also employ yourself okay. by venturing into uh, farming, mm. not agriculture, mm. but farming. Mm. Because farming, you know, farming helps a lot. It tells you all the time you learn. Okay. You learn different things. Mm. You know, you can also be on your own boss. Mm when you start uh, farming okay. yes okay all right so that's the ceo of uh isodo agri village and he does a lot of things from crops to livestock and so if you're out there wherever it is you find yourself especially those of you in the diaspora who are looking for adventure mm -hmm. enough of the chicken and the goat the cow enough of the snail this is a new meat they say it's rich man food yes so come and taste it and see how it feels like you might even get new people who will be interested in this. And seated next to us is Ophelia Oredu, who is also doing her internship here on this farm. Thank you so much for making time with us. There is more episodes we are recording with Nana. This is not the first one. You'll be seeing us again on a different project he's doing right here in his village. Until then, it's a bye. Thank you very much Welcome. for your time. Thank you.